Hello everyone, with the release of 21.1 we have four amazing new tools available in the Intelligence Suite. These new tools will allow you to bridge the gap from analyst to citizen data scientist. Today I will showcase to you how we can evolve your solving utilizing data health, feature selection, feature engineering and full auto machine learning. Over on the canvas, I have four data sets that I'm looking to build a model from. First thing I want to do is understand is the health of my product data. Using data health, we can automatically check if our data is ready for modeling. This tool gives you insight into your data set by focusing on six metrics. Missing values, uniqueness, sparsity, unary fields, similar to IDs, and outliers. It makes these evaluations available to you in a variety of different ways. The S node gives you detailed scores for every column, as well as a recommended action for every column available, such as keep and investigate. You can see here the attractive report you get from the tool's R node. This will show you both an overall score and how your dataset performed on each specific test. The O node identifies outliers for you, surfacing specific rows in each of your columns that contain data points that can deviate significantly from the rest of your data set. This is all extremely helpful information to ensure you're using a properly balanced data set in order to train your new predictive model on. Once I get the all clear, I then want to apply feature types to each of my data sets. The Feature Types tool automatically can detect what kinds of data are in your dataset, for example, dates, zip codes, raw text and IDs. Your data types are really helpful to know because the meaning of the data can actually influence the way in which you may want to blend or evaluate the data as you prepare it for modelling. Knowing your data's enhanced data types is really neat and also important for helping build better features. So let's take a look at build features now. Build features automatically creates new columns from your existing data. So if you have a date column, for example, it could create columns like day of month, week of year, day since last data point and so forth. The process of generating and adjusting your columns of data in preparation for making a new predictive model is called feature engineering. Feature engineering lets you capture complex relationships in data. The Build Features tool does feature engineering for you, which is great because using more meaningful, better quality columns of data when making a new predictive model can result in a more accurate model overall. Build features can build columns out of multiple different data streams, which is very convenient and powerful for helping you discover interesting features and relationships across all your model training data. And speaking of model training, we now have the new Auto Machine Learning tool. The AutoML tool automatically trains a model on your data set with pretty much no configuration required. This is different from assisted modeling, which walks you through step by step and focuses on explaining things and giving you lots of levers and buttons to control what's going on. The AutoML tool provides you a simple set it and forget it approach instead. It intelligently selects the best algorithm for you to use based on your training data. This is great if you want to automatically retrain your model using fresh data on a regular basis, like in a scheduled server or hub-based workflow. AutoML is best used when you're already familiar with your data and comfortable with assisted modeling approaches. In order to operationalize your newly trained model, we can output to a model repository and reuse and apply the model to a live stream of data. This process can be automated to ensure your model can be retrained on a set frequency or occurrence. Using the predict tool, we can then score your model to generate results, connecting live data and connecting the model that we built earlier.